Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, I promised you a rich, rich recipe, mm -hmm. and wow, is it rich. I've been eating this cake for about 30-something years. You were two years old. No, because uh -oh. I'm only 29. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, okay. My daughter, Angela, was only two the first time I had this cake. Gosh, does that make me or you old? Neither one. Okay, neither one. It is a rich recipe. This was submitted by Doreen Lee. She's from Kankakee, Illinois. And she got the recipe from, I think, a junior league cookbook there many, many years ago. Rich, rich, rich chocolate cinnamon cake. Rich and good. Mm -hmm. Now, I made my first one last week. And Angela's going to go over the ingredients for you. There are two cups of flour, two cups of sugar, one cup of butter, a fourth cup baking cocoa, one cup water, half a cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, and one teaspoon of salt. Now, if y'all have been tuning in to Heart of the Home, we all know I'm not much at measuring. Now, we're going to add, we are actually measuring, aren't we? <gasps> we measured today. We I don't do that. <laughs> well, we're measuring today because this cake is pretty precise, mm -hmm. and we need to measure this. Okay, Angela, we have combined two cups of flour, two cups of sugar. We sifted that, and now we're melting our cup of butter with our cocoa and our water. We're going to let that melt good, and then we're going to pour it over the dry ingredients, and then we're going to add our buttermilk and our cinnamon and our vanilla and our eggs. And our soda. Tiny bit of soda, tiny bit of salt. It's going to be ready to bake. This is a simple recipe using plain flour. And the chocolate's already smelling so oh, good. Oh, man, this chocolate smells great. This is what makes this cake rich. Mm -hmm. Butter and chocolate. Kind of like a man mm -hmm. with a 401k and a state retirement. Now, and that's an out-of-town hobby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's rich. That's rich. <laughs> now, this is, what, a 10 by 15 pan? Sure. It's a little bit larger than normal, and that's the size pan that this recipe requires. It's going to be in the oven for 30 minutes or until a toothpick put in comes out dry. Do not overbake it. My first one, I did overbake it, so watch it closely. Now, this rich, rich recipe for our icing is, Angela, the amount of butter is one cup of butter, fourth, one bag of 10x sugar, fourth cup of cocoa, fourth cup of cocoa, um, six tablespoons of milk, a six. teaspoon of vanilla. That's it. Bullet in a saucepan. That is it, guys, and it is so simple, and you pour it over the cake hot. Man, I think this deserves the rich and powerful. Ooh, man, it's good. These walnuts came from Harris Farm, and uh, they're big chunks of walnuts. You can use pecans, you can use walnuts. I just happen to have a ton of walnuts we picked up out on the ground mm. and shelled. Oh, wow. Yummy. Wow, yummy. Just a hint of cinnamon and a whole lot of rich chocolate. And what do you think of that? I think that looks yummy enough to eat. I Let's think that looks in. yummy. I think Doreen had a good idea. This was a great recipe, guys. Angela, I promised you this was going to be rich and hot. Oh, well, Doreen! Doreen! Hey. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I'm from college. I Just... smelled this all the way in Atlanta, so I had to come up. Uh-huh, uh -huh. okay, good idea. <laughs> Tori, there you go, honey. The third generation gets the cake. Three generations, a great recipe. Bye-bye. It's great Bye. to have you home, sweetheart.